While running, a person dissipates about 0.6 joules of mechanical energy per step, per kilogram of body mass. Now we have a, a 70 kilograms person runs with a power of 80 watts during a race. How fast is a person running? Assume that the running step is 1.4 meters long. Okay. First of all, let us find how much mechanical energy is dissipated per step. So, mechanical energy dissipated per step since the person is 70 kilograms and the person dissipates 0 0.6 joules per kilogram per step so this energy is 0 0.6 times 70, that is, this is 0 0.6 joules per kilogram per step. So if I multiply by the 70 kilograms, that gives me 42 joules per step. So every step the person makes, this person dissipates 42 joules. Now, the power P is the work done. Now, this is the work done by the person per step. So, the power is the work done divided by the time it takes to do the work. So if a person makes one step this step takes time delta T to make. So delta T is the time to make a step. The work done divided by delta t, that's a power. And so the work done per step, if I divide it by the time it takes to make one step, that gives me the power. So the power we're told is 80 watts. And we know that the work done in making one step is 42 joules. So if I divide that by the time to make one step, delta t, that's what I get. So this means that delta t is 42 divided by 80 seconds. This is delta t. This is the time for one step. But the uh, length of one step is 1.4 meters. So the speed V, or velocity, it's the distance divided by the time. The distance for one step is 1.4 meters. And the time to make the step is 42 over 80. So this is 1.4 times 80 over 42. 1.4 over 42, that's 1 over 30. So this is 8 over 3 meters per second. That is, it's 2.67 meters per second. This is the speed of the runner. You'll not win a race with this speed, but it, it'll be a good exercise. Certainly. I thank you for listening.